My name is uh, Dennis Malatsov, and I uh, live in uh, Toronto, Canada. I, I love automating everything. Um, today, I'm going to share with you how to reuse CSS classes that are already built in in SharePoint Online and um, can be applied to things like list formatting and even uh, SPFX. Um, in terms of SPFX, the latest and greatest approach, as far as I understand, is to use tokens uh, that appear like this. And in your SPFX web part, you can then reference your classes this way. However, this is a bit experimental. You could also kind of hard code the classes this way. Uh, the only trick is how do you know which classes are available to you? So I'm going to show you. Uh, this is a website that I built about four years ago and I kept uh, up to date. Um, and what it does, it lets you browse every style or most styles that are already loaded to your SharePoint online page. Uh, you can um, not only see the class names, but you can also see visually what is a class doing. There are quite a few classes. Some of them are, I would say, not really recommended to be used, but many of them were here for at least five years and they're still working perfectly fine. And um, you can take any of these and copy to your list formatting. For example, uh, this is a sample list, doesn't really matter what it contains. Um, but uh, let's say I want to apply some styling to this column. If I let's start from scratch. So you might notice that somehow uh, the out of the box list formatting already uses some classes uh, you could and you might wonder where are these coming from and what's the full list how can i find out what these are you could let's say search for this one and find it here you can maybe change it by copying one of these and replacing this one with something else as you can see the color changes and you could uh, maybe find another one, see what this one is. This one just makes your um, text either black or, or gray, depending on the theme. You could also go a little bit more creative and apply several classes in parallel, like uh, the background, then you can do maybe boldness. Um, then you can even add a border. Um, you can change the size. Um, yeah, you could even uh, use classes that um, have multiple um, styles applied to uh, to them, like this one. And um, many of these uh, classes are dynamic, meaning that even though the color appears blue right now, if I change the theme, it should uh, show something else. You see, it changes with the theme. And this, this is true for many of these classes, uh, many of them split from black to white and uh, vice versa, depending on uh, the class name. Uh, there are quite a few uh, nice resources that you could use to read more about 
classes and how the naming conventions are formed. For example, if you go to the uh, developer.microsoft.com Fluent UI, you can read on uh, which uh, styling names are used and what they are for. For example, there are so-called neutrals, then uh, shared colors. These are not dynamic, these are static, but also useful. And you can also find the theme colors, the dynamic ones. Uh, you might not be able to find everything like font sizes, uh, borders and such, but this is still a very good start. Uh, there is another great resource, um, which is uh, PNP samples. There is a section for list formatting. And right here in the documentation, you could read on what kind of class groups you can use. For example, there is a separate group for backgrounds or borders or text. You can even use some classes for animation. I haven't added those yet to, to uh, this site you just saw, but uh, I'm going to work on that. The only little disadvantage is that you might, you, by using this page, you might not always see a preview. Um, so this is why you could still go here to see what, like on a, on a single page, what a result of a class application will appear. Uh, you could also use the classes in um, SPFX, and this is a simple, very basic example where I'm just using a bunch of random classes I found, and I just create a div and apply a class like this. This is basically hard coded, not super recommended. This is just an experiment to show you how it works. So one of the problems uh, with using this approach is that when you use the workbench, uh, none of the styles that are that, that contain the, these special classes are applicable. However, you can load the special CSS file uh, for the workbench, and these will be colored. And when you deploy it, these styles will work just as just as you saw on the uh, CSS classes index site. Um, yeah, use it at your own risk. But the main application of these uh, classes here is to use it for list formatting and column formatting. Mm -hmm.